Hello everyone and Happy New Year. Today we're going to do a quick demonstration of how to use oracles with Kashi. Oracles allow us to bring real world data into our Bitcoin Cash transactions to do really useful things like sports betting or subscriber verification and a whole list of other really useful things. So today we're going to do an example and it's actually a real world example if you are a subscriber to our Ledger Treasure newsletter, then you will be able to solve the next puzzle. Uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, but we have this newsletter called Ledger Treasure. We do this every month. Um, and basically, there's a Bitcoin puzzle. If you can solve the puzzle, then you will be able to claim some Bitcoin funds. <clears throat> If you're not a subscriber, head over to our website at simpleledger.io and sign up. So when you receive the email for the newsletter, you'll be provided with a script template file. I'm going to go ahead and load that up now. Once the script template loads, we're provided with some template properties. We can see that the name of this script template is called Easy Money One. In step two, it says set locking script values. And we can see that there's a couple of fields that are blank and we need to fill them out. Uh, then there's also object data sig, which is uh, the new opcode that was added to Bitcoin Cash, which allows for oracles. And we know that object data sig requires a oracle signature, a message to be signed, and the public key for the oracle. So here we can see that this is the message that's going to be signed by the Oracle, and this is the Oracle public key. The signature is probably in the unlocking script of this template. So let's go ahead and, and read what it says here. It says SHA-256 parentheses email. Okay, so it wants us to calculate, I think, the SHA-256 for our email address. Uh, and it says for Ledger Treasure. So this would be whatever email address you were subscribed with for the newsletter. So we're going to go ahead and use this, this tool here, which is, uh, it says Compute SHA-256. And I'm going to type in uh, my fake email address here. And you can see that uh, you can do SHA-256 iterate, iteration number x1 or x2, we're just going to do one iteration of SHA-256. Okay, now we need the Oracle's public key. So to do this, we just head over to the Oracle's tab, select the Simple Ledger Oracle, select the Subscriber Oracle, and there's Oracle Details, it gives us the pub key. We'll just copy that paste it over here. Okay, now that we've gotten those details, we can, we need to pay the developers to continue. So now we can click calculate. And what calculate does is it takes the locking script from step two and compiles it into this hex shown here. And then that hex is used to compute an address and then the app looks at this address that it calculated and tries to see if there's any funds on the blockchain that we can spend. And it looks like it says last UTXO and then there's an amount here. So there are some funds here so we can go ahead and click the spend button. If there were not any funds here, the spend button wouldn't be shown. So all the values from the Create tab are automatically copied over to the Spend tab for convenience. And basically we do the same thing, we just follow the steps. One is filled out for us, two is already selected, three is done, four says enter an output address. So we're going to use our Badger wallet, and we're going to go ahead and copy our address by clicking account one so once we paste in our address step five shows up and it says 
set unlocking script values. And here it just wants the Oracle signature like we were talking about earlier. So to get the Oracle signature, we'll just go to the Oracle's tab. We've already selected the Oracle and the subscriber Oracle service. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we can type in a message that we want the Oracle to sign for us. We could also type in some hex if we wanted the, if we need the hex that the Oracle needs to sign. But in this case, we're just typing in some text. So we've requested and the Oracle has given us a signature. And the fact that they gave us a signature means that we must be a subscriber to the Ledger Treasure newsletter. So we're going to copy that signature, bring it back to the spend tab and paste it in where the signature goes. Now all we got to do is just spend it. Okay, so there you have it. We've successfully claimed the hidden funds for the next Ledger Treasure number two puzzle. And I encourage everybody to go to the simpleledger.io website and sign up for the next puzzle. You already have the solution. All right, guys. Talk to you next time. Bye.